Hello Giants, it's Dean here and another unboxing of the Loco I have been waiting for for a very very long time I really wanted it so bad and here it is Ta-da! Wartime Black, Flying Scotsman by Hornby Limited Edition from National sorry about the camera National Railway Museum in York and obviously whoever watch these videos and knows Flying Scotsman it is in the wartime black so let's open her up have a little look I've got to say very good detail mind that's why you probably see the old Flying Scotsman in the back, the green one we'll go through that in a minute now so the first thing you get is manual and maintain your A1 or A3 locomotive no point opening that up because everyone knows what that is. If you've got trains, you've got one, I'm sure. <laughs> everyone knows that. Um, DCC little book thing, I don't know. i got loads of them. I don't use them. My train set and even DCC. But I have got loads of them. I don't chuck them away. I just keep them with the original boxes, what they come with. Then here's my certificate saying that I am the owner then of a uh, Flying Scotsman and Wartime Black. Little talk about it there. 199 out of 500. And, um, just a little bit on that, what it says about it and that. Also on the back of the box, this little thing here, you can have a write up on that about the train. So let's open this up. Oh, straight away you got accessories in the top, like the little wheel and pipes. And then this thing, which I thought was pretty good until I realised. Let me open it up for you and I'll show you properly. Um, it's basically how to fit like your bits of details on and that, like the pipes, and like the pipes on the side of the train too. Then you find out it don't actually tell you how to fit the smoke deflectors, which I got over there, and I'm not putting on it. Oh, and also the brake pipes under the locos over there. They come over earlier. I opened it up, had a good look at it, and yeah, very nice. Now I'm going to show you. So, great Ormby packaging. This is my favourite Ormby packaging, all this like polystyrene. So, let's look at the tender. With a tender, very detailed, just like my um, oh, mallard and silver fox corridor tender, of course. Uh, spring buffers, sorry about that, got a little bit closer. And there, got the lovely any on the side in the matte black as well, like the livery. Put that there, and then let's get the main one out, which everyone waits for. A little bit of white on it there. Now I'll tell you something about this in a minute. So here it is. Flying Scotsman, wartime black. Let me just move all this packaging out of the way so I will show you what it looks like to the other Flying Scotsman. Very nice loco. As you can see here it's got like the little wire that goes to the tender for more pickup and that I think. And the cab detail, you probably can't see it because my camera's not the best, but very well done. Really good. And I'm glad they got rid of these arbor like hooks that go here, which the tender obviously just fits on very nicely. The others I didn't really like, like what comes with my Mallard and Silver Fox. So, this is it really. And it is absolutely lovely. Certainly one of the best locomotives I have owned. And it will be running on my main line. As soon as this opens, it will be the first rail tour. Now, let me tell you about the smoke deflectors. Uh, last night, I just guessed really, and I put a little bit of super glue on the end of the smoke deflectors. And they fitted on, and actually look, uh, looked quite nice. Then I come down this morning, I thought I'd do the video first thing. So done all what I've been doing and then as soon as I got the loco out, 
this part of the boiler was white and it's obviously a reaction to the super glue because super glue I used is the same stuff I've had with build your McLaren your own McLaren which is like a kit you can buy so I cleaned it up with uh, loads and loads of cotton wool buds and that and it comes out fine smoke reflectors I won't have on it now it just looks actually quite mean without them so yeah no smoke reflectors now if we bring the other flight Scotsman over I've had this one since 2007 I think I had it and it's the Flying Scotsman train set, the standard one you get with four teak coaches, which I think is two now or three. And straight away, first thing you notice, double chimney, single chimney, which I love the double chimney locos. I think actually I've only got about three. Um, obviously Flying Scotsman, Mallard, Silver Fox has got single chimney. And I think my one of my Patriots have my Royal Scott class, I mean. But yeah, I mean this has spring buffers. And this is a great model, but I hate the tender drive locos. I just can't stand them because they just don't seem to have the power that this will have. Which this is local drive, thank God. And I mean, it's just stunning, isn't it? So any questions, please ask. The loco will be running as soon as this video is over and Formula 1 practice is over. So thanks for watching. More videos coming soon. Just ask any questions and I hope you get this loco soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.